I wasn't writing, you know, to give a lecture, which I've done. I wasn't writing, by the way, out of ignorance, as some people have said, because not only do I know my own family history, I've done quite a lot of writing and research on my family history. So none of that was true, but it was in a shorthand. So what happened? And this, this, this is the extraordinary thing. And this refers actually to how you see uh, people behaving later on in the Al Jazeera documentary. What happened is that a snippet of that was totally taken out of context. And then the Jewish Chronicle, I believe, had some kind of headline which said something like, Jackie Walker blames the Jews for the African Holocaust. I mean, really, you know, I would have to be stupid or stupid to do anything like that. But it didn't matter because not only did the Jewish Chronicle put that story up, but then what happened was like a domino effect. Every other newspaper, instead of coming to me, which they could have done, they just reproduced this again and again and again. Did the Jewish Chronicle talk to you before they published it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. In fact, I have asked, for example, the Guardian I have asked for a right of reply. Um, now that comes on to this second period. Recently, since the Al Jazeera disclosures of Israeli involvement in these kinds of things, I've asked the Guardian to go on, um, they have, a, they have a, a, a space called Opinion is Free. So I did a Comment pitch. Comment is free. No, it's actually Opinion. It? It's actually Opinion is Free. So I did a pitch for Opinion is Free because I thought, you know, having had their reporter Eglot kind of repeatedly damn me over a year, they've been running stories against me for at least a year, they might allow me a little space, a right of reply. So I did that, I asked them, I said, you know, can I have this little space to actually put something in about my story? They wrote me back by return and their email said, sorry, we're not commissioning any stories at the moment. So that's what you have from the media. The media all jump in on one story. And if people notice, since the Al Jazeera uh, documentaries have been out, they've talked a bit about the involvement with the Tory foreign uh, minister, foreign, foreign affairs minister. What they haven't done is reported anything about the involvement with the Israeli embassy and the Labour Party. So that, that's, if you like, the first episode. 